advertisers are snooping on you using your phones and TVs. There is now a high-tech vest that could save your life. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of exciting tech developments and we bring you the most interesting ones in a tech wrap. What comes to your mind when we say F1 racing? Super fast cars and super efficient race car drivers, right? What if we tell you, you can soon witness F1 car racing without the drivers? That's right, Abu Dhabi is all set to host the first edition of Autonomous Racing League, commonly known as A2RL, next year in April. Car racing enthusiasts will be able to witness self-driving cars race against each other on the Formula 1 track. The $2.25 million prize pot has attracted teams from around the world. Ten teams from university and research institutions will take part in the Autonomous Racing League. Cars will be equipped with cameras to provide a 360-degree view. It will also have GPS for navigation and radar and lidar sensors to detect obstacles and competing cars. Such events can help test the boundaries of what is possible with autonomous vehicle technology. How many times has it happened you talk about something and related advertisements start to show up in your social media feed? Chances are advertisers might be listening to your offline conversations. According to a report by the Cox Media Group, advertising companies can tap into ambient conversations of users via built-in microphones in smartphones, smart TVs and other devices. These companies then collect information and employ that data for targeted advertising. If you think what these advertisers are doing is illegal, well that's not the case. According to the report, this is completely legal. This is because consumers usually give consent when accepting the terms and conditions of software updates or application downloads. We think advertisers are exploiting loopholes in the system and this needs to be addressed. This is a life-saving vest. The new device is called an electrocardiographic imaging vest. Developed by a team of researchers at University College London, the vest can identify people with a higher risk of sudden cardiac death. The vest takes just a couple of minutes to attach and provides detailed diagnostics of a heart's electrical activity. It has been successfully trialled on around 800 people and is now being prepared for a wider rollout. And what it basically consists of is a, a, a vest which um, a patient can wear uh, for five minutes at rest or as during exercise um, and it's embedded with 256 um, sensors shall we say which don't have any gel so they're qu quite comfortable and easy to wear um, and it gives us a huge amount of electrical information mapping the heart not as a single signal but mapping the heart panoramically so we literally get three-dimensional um, maps of the heart and we can look at the electrics of the heart propagating all across the cardiac chambers and then when the patient goes in to have their MRI scan at the end of the scan we are able to map that data onto the MRI scan. With this dry electrode technology it can be washed in between uses. This is in contrast to the metal electrodes that require a layer of gel between the electrode and the skin in a traditional ECG examination. Google has agreed to pay $700 million and make several other concessions to settle allegations that it had been stifling competition against its Android application store. Moreover, Alphabet's Google has agreed to allow for greater competition in its Play application store. Understand that Google was accused of overcharging consumers through unlawful restrictions on the distribution of apps on Android devices. The tech giant was also slammed for applying unnecessary fees for in-app transactions. According to court documents, Google will pay $630 million into a settlement fund for consumers and $70 million into a fund that will be used by the states. Consumers who have spent money on Google Pay between August 16, 2016 and September 30, 2023 are eligible for the payout. 
Imagine a world where you can charge your household equipment using your car's battery. In a few years, you might be able to do so. Well, at least in the United Kingdom. The UK government has awarded $6.1 million to four UK projects that are currently working on creating bi-directional charging system. Adoption of this technology will enable consumers to turn their electric vehicles into backup power sources. In other words, users can use their EV battery to run electric appliances at home. Now, this will also help users save some money on electricity bills. Understand that bi-directional charging allows owners to turn their vehicles into four-wheeled batteries, sending power back up to their homes, appliances and even to the utility grid. Not just individuals but even businesses can benefit from the bi-directional charging technology. For instance, they can store electricity in their fleets of EVs and use it to power their operations at a later date.